Hi, and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll give some tips on the case report form and what a monitor has to keep in mind. More after the break. In our last video, we have explained that once you have verified the existence of serious adverse events and their correct reporting, continue monitoring the case report form data. First, get a rough overview of the inclusion and exclusion criteria and the overall data documentation. Are the case report form pages complete and error-free? If errors are corrected, have they been signed by authorized personnel? Especially when using paper case report forms, pay attention to handwriting. If you are not sure because you cannot read the handwriting, take the delegation log from the investigator's folder and compare the signatures. In any case, address this issue if the signatures do not match. If unauthorized personnel document study data in the case report form, this is a good clinical practice violation which you must document. Cross-check the case report form entries with regard to the English language and whether unauthorized abbreviations have been used. These are very often found in the concomitant diseases, concomitant medication, and adverse events. The electronic case report form can help the clinical monitor with some of the work. First of all, you no longer have a problem with bad handwriting. The programmed edit checks set certain data ranges and make it impossible to forget data. But whether the change in body weight from one visit to the next is realistic must usually be determined by the CRA. If the body weight never changes over a long period of time, this should be questioned because it would be rather unrealistic. With the respiratory rate, the second example, one can set ranges. However, the normal values depend on the disease and the age of the patient, so they should be set quite broadly, which can of course lead to errors within the normal range. If, on the other hand, the ranges were too narrow, the investigator would probably be irritated because he would have to answer data queries for every value outside the theoretical normal range. So much about case report forms and what a monitor has to keep in mind, if you want to learn more about case, report forms, take a look at our other videos on that topic. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time.